Minecraft Snapshot 22W17A is here. Now, the biggest news in this snapshot is definitely the Gotorn, uh, which has been added into the game of Java Edition. Now, this was already added inside of Bedrock Edition. So you may have seen the goat horn already, but that was Bedrock, this is Java, this is great that it is coming over to the Java version of the game. Now what is weird, ponder, sing, seek, uh, here I am in uh, tools, that's where they are located, but also in transportation, I have ponder, sing, Seek, I have all the horns. I'm not sure why they're also <laughs> in the transportation tab of the creative menu that makes, are they in every tab? Oh my gosh, wait a second, are they in every tab? They are in every tab. Oh, I love my foodstuffs, goat horn. Why are they in every tab? Okay, but a building block, goat horn, this is great. Okay, well that, at least it wasn't just the transportation tab that uh, was singled out. I love my redstone goat horn. Okay, obviously a bug, this will be fixed in a future update. Now this goat horns, uh, here in the Java edition are not quite as fully featured as they are in Bedrock Edition. So in Bedrock Edition, if you looked up and played the goat horn, it would do a sound. If you crouched and played the goat horn, it would do a sound. Not sure why I'm Alex. This is another bug in this uh, snapshot. And then also, if you just played the horn without looking up or crouching, it would do a different sound. And that is not true here on Java Edition. No matter what you do, whether you crouch, you look up, uh, ha what have you, then the horn will play the same sound. On top of that, in the Bedrock version, we have copper horns and there is no copper version of the goat horn. You could craft this in a crafting table into a copper version of that horn and get like a medley to play, and that just isn't happening here on the Java edition. Uh, so we have the horns. This is the first time we've had goat horns in the game, uh, but we don't have all the functionality that is currently on the Bedrock version. We just have them and they play their bass sound. Ooh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Love it, love to hear it. I just realized something absolutely hilarious. Not only is it goat horn in every single page, but it's also in the destroy <laughs> item area. And I assume that's because this is its own separate page? That gives us a little bit of insight on how they code the game. We got uh, death, destroy item plus goat horn in the same like text and then ponder underneath that is the weirdest thing there's a goat horn stuck in the destroy item area hilarious just like in the bedrock version of the game goats will spawn in with one two or no horns and those horns will break off if the goat tries to hit you oh i thought the goat was trying to aim for me here uh, and then they smack into a solid block that would be in their natural habitat. So that includes logs, stone, packed ice, iron ore, copper ore, and emerald ore. Now what I kind of wanted to experiment with a bit is, does that also include variations like uh, stripped logs? Uh, uh, okay, these, these ghosts are making all sorts of weird stuff. And then other types of stone like andesite, granite, and diorite does that do those count as well so i'm gonna try to wait around for one of these guys to try to hit me and it, it takes a while i'll be honest it takes quite a long time to get these guys to aggro you and actually try to hit you and i'm just hearing all these screaming goats and all these weird sounds oh my gosh it's just insanity it's craziness i it, he just hit me i had no time to react here I need to constantly be moving here to make sure that I can get a horn here? What the heck? Okay, that was a perfect example. I saw the head go down. He really aimed at me and he definitely hit this and it didn't work. So I wonder if those blocks, they don't count. Let's see if we can get it to happen on one of the ones that should work. There we go. Oh, 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 it didn't even work. Wow. Wow, here he comes. I've noticed it. They slowly lower their head 
That is the side. Get out of here. I'm trying to get like this guy. He's lowering his head. See him go. Oh, there, the him too. Shoot. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a goat to hit me. Get out of the way. So they will. There we go. See, he's. This guy hit me out of the way. I guess? I'm not sure. There. Maybe I might have too many goats here. Okay. See this guy. Whoa. It worked. I have a goat horn in my hand now. And that one actually lost its horn. So now it has no horns at all. So it's possible. I'm not sure if I actually heard. Oh, I did. I heard it break. There, I have another one. Amazing. Oh, I didn't move out of the way fast enough. That's right. There it goes. Where did that goat horn go? Did I grab it already? I think I might have. Uh, so it will work. I like this animation of the head lowering. It really does help me kind of understand when they're going to attack. Also, it really seems like they lock on target a lot better here in Java Edition, where they start that animation, and then they're like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, which I like quite a lot. Get out of here. So this guy, is he, is he locked on target? No. This guy? Yeah, see, he is. Bam. There we go. I'm getting so many. This is my, my goat horn farm. Woohoo! So we got uh, seek, sing, ponder, call, sing again. So we got two of those. Two ponders looks like and one call. This is this is great. I'm uh, super happy with that. And it looked like it didn't work over here. But now that I kind of know what to look for, I'm going to try it one more time. See if I can get any of these goats. I see you. I see you. Uh, see if I can get any of them to hit me. Okay, here we go. Well, it did not work on andesite. That's for sure. Uh, or uh, what are you? Diorite? I think so. So that didn't work. I want to try it on uh, more of these striped logs and see stripped logs. See if I can get that to happen e uh, as well. Here we go. And doesn't look like that worked. Oops. I'm, I'm, he, I, these guys really want to hit me. Bad. Whoa. No, this is not working. So, needs to be exactly one of these variants. Uh, there is no, I guess, variation. So, stone, log, packed ice, or any of those ores. So, uh, there you go. That is how you get some goat horns inside of Minecraft Java Edition. Obviously, still some more work that needs to happen in order to bring it up to parity with the bedrock version of the game. There are a few other changes that I'm going to talk about. I won't necessarily show you uh, the Warden's uh, attack. Their ranged attack will now bypass shields and only does 10 damage instead of 30 damage, which I think is, is good. And then also, there is a new secure chat feature, which I want to talk about. I'm very interested in this. So basically right now how it stands is if you send something in chat uh, in the current game, then it's basically like clear text. Like anyone can kind of see that. Even if you're like doing a private message, like on some servers they may have like slash uh, message or something to, to send a, a thing or you can like whisper to people. Uh, the server admin can see all of that for sure. So uh, just keep that in mind. And it looks like they're moving to a secure chat signing feature. I'm just going to read this word for word. This is the first step of the process to provide more secure security and player self safety features for in-game chat. We'd love to hear your thoughts. But keep in mind that many features such as server-driven styling and chat messaging are still missing. Chat messages between players are now crypt graphically signed. I'm not actually sure if that means that they are uh, being encrypted or just that they are signed. Like you have, this is definitely coming from this PC uh, because if it means that they're encrypted, it actually is kind of worrying and I don't really like that because as a server manager myself, we have had instances where we have looked at what's going on in the chat and we have determined someone needs to get banned or someone's doing bullying uh, with, you know, private messages or, you know, you can just imagine bad things can happen. Um, so I can't tell if this is actually like making things encrypted or it just it's uh, signed so that, you know, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt that it's coming from your client, from your computer. Um, and then, you know, you can't say, oh, someone faked that, you know, the server faked that or something like that. Um, players are given a Mojang provided key pair on startup servers can require players to have a Mojang signed public key setting in the server properties. And so you can enforce this or, or not enforce it. Um, and then there's a new uh, styling thing. So uh, interesting stuff. I want to know more. Uh, if any Mojang developers are watching, 
please don't encrypt chat end to end because that will take away a lot of um, security from server admins. Uh, I don't think that anyone should be doing anything in a Minecraft chat that requires end to end encryption. I uh, should be just chatting with friends and uh, server admins uh, should be able to see what people are saying to each other so that you don't, I mean, if someone's sending a password or something that needs to be encrypted in chat, uh, something bad is going on. And so uh, we, server admins should be able to stop that. And I think that, that that's what's going on. I think that this cryptographic signature is uh, just determining that it is actually from a computer um, and determining that like nobody else faked a chat message so you know that it is where it's coming from. That about wraps it up for this snapshot. That's really it. Uh, goat horns and some chat messages. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for future videos. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Please leave a like on this video and uh, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of it. See you guys next time. Bye.